And we're back. Oh yes, we're back for another video for Dad's RC Hangar. My name's Chris, and we're bringing you that for Saturday feeling. Oh yes, 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 yes. It is. What is it? It's the tenth of October, twenty twenty. Um, should have done one yesterday and Friday, but we had some technical difficulties. 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 Yes, that's what we had. Technical difficulties. Difficulties. I can't say that word today. What is going on? Must be a Saturday thing. Who knows? That's why I do a Friday feeling. Hope you enjoyed your Friday feeling. The feeling of it's the weekend and whatever's going to happen at the weekend, something's good's got to happen because you have got to have that. Yes, we are going to have survive and yes, we're going to have fun. Do that. <laughs> Easy. What are we doing today? Well, we are continuing with the Tiger Moth. Um, <laughs> I was hoping to do an unboxing of the MiG-29, but uh, apparently TNT have lost it after two months of waiting to receive it. But we won't go into that one today. Um, and also there's another plane I absolutely forgot about that should be arriving next week. So there's a couple of unboxings. Um, more planes ready to fly next year. Uh, as I say, you'll be seeing the A6 in the background because I'm still doing the electronics. But I wanted to get the Tiger Moth ready. Um, so there's going to be a few videos of this. So, um, you know, there's going to be... Well, I don't know, four or five, I suppose, rather than doing a big long one. Um, I, you know, just go through detail. Everything's going to be how we're going to install certain things. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoy them anyway. So, um, without further ado, let's get to it. Alrighty then, up close and personal. No, we're not. We're just overshooting the top of this. Now, we'll put some bright lights on to so see how we're going to do. Now, you're wondering why I'm holding my iPad. Well, because I don't know where I'll put the instructions. <laughs> That's what happens when you play about with other planes and just leave the one sitting there while you wait for some parts to come. It doesn't matter. It's online and it's online at Motion RC, which is really great. Uh, now, and the good thing is, is I can zoom in, in. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to put the engine on today we're going to get the mountings on now this is it's a really pain in the bum because it doesn't really show you or give you measurements of where things got to go for instance you know it's telling you there that it, there's there's a line at the bottom and that's where you line that up um, and then obviously you're going to line the uh the middle of this with the middle of this hole which is offset anyway um, but it doesn't show you the offset position of that it's quite surprised um yeah now the weird the thing that's getting me is it's yes i know it's, it's running out of battery but it's all good i'll put it on charge in a second um the thing that's getting me is that it's telling you to cut the right angle and bring the screw down which i don't know we'll have to have a look at that so let's um let's put the ipad over here on charge <sighs> so that's charging is it charging looks like it's charging i think it's charging I don't think it probably is actually. I probably have to get the chart. Oh no, it's charging. Okay, let them right. So, what I've done here, hopefully I can get it in shot. I should have the backlights on really. So, it's a bit of backlight. There you go. Right. So because it's black, <laughs> I've marked the the bottom uh, the bottom lines that it said to you to put on. I've measured the width of the engine and just put this on, um, just so I don't have to drop the engine. Now, if I line this up, now it says with the top whites there, um, I can't really see the, this is a bit of a problem. It's, it's a bit of a problem shot, this. Let's see if I can come down a bit more and you can see the floor a bit. Let's see, let's come down a bit, even a bit more. And maybe we get a bit closer. Ah, oh, no, yeah. And we go down a bit more, maybe. Can we go down a bit more? Can we go down a bit more? Oh, there you go, look at that. Now that's a better shot, I think maybe possibly it's a pain in the ass for me because <laughs> i'm trying to get it so let's get that lined up there and we'll get it lined up the other side which is there like so then we'll get the middle lined up like so and there's that corner's fine so in the picture it's almost like you know that this is up there like that which is totally not you line up the white lines, which are the black markings. I've got I've drawn a sensor mark there uh, for the centre of the uh, engine. Let's get the <laughs> white marks in the right way, which is there, and it is there, and it is there. 
So to me, that's okay. Which is really weird, don't you think? Um, what I'm thinking of doing is I think I'll just make four screw holes, but small ones. Uh, put the screws in, mount the the um, engine, and see if the engine meets the middle of the cowling. Because if it does, then it's correct. So what they're saying about chopping these off, unless they've made these smaller um, since the other one. I'm not sure. It's really, really weird. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rather than do it on camera because it's, it's going to be hard for trying to move me on camera because I need to make sure the distance is there because obviously this is I haven't put a ball I should have put a bit of wood underneath really so it pushes it out a bit but I need to make that that is uh, square um, to probably the bottom maybe or to here uh, to make sure we're square in fact I should be able to, should I can I should I should I can I I don't know um, yeah. I think what I need to do, I need to play about this off camera, but you can see what I'm going to do anyway. I'll explain to you what I'm going to do, but it's just a bit hard because of the shot of the camera and me trying to get my uh, big ass in behind here. So let me, um, now I've explained to you what I'm going to do and yeah, let me put some screws in here, temporary screws. Um, I'll move the plane so she's on the, on the deck and we'll, um, we'll have a go. Oh, sorry. Alrighty, so. What I've done, I've turned the plane upside down. I've fixed the uh, the engine mounts uh, temporary with some screws because obviously it goes, it has like nuts and uh, uh, I don't know what the, the actual things are called, uh, fasteners. Now, if I look, so it, it's mounted as it should do. Now, I don't know if this is going to be in focus or out of focus, but it looks like it's going to be in focus now. Oh, motion I see. Now if you look here, uh, from the firewall at the back to the edge of the uh, prop shaft or flange, I'm not sure, excuse the terminology, but the end of the engine. Um, look, where the, look where the actual screw holes here are, are, are here. Now it might be that because I've got a bit of a bigger engine, you know, we've got the um, FA62, but it shouldn't be that different. So. Let's, uh, let's plug the laptop iPad back in again and it's still taking quite a while to charge, but anyway. Now, so I've got my measuring tool. So we've got, if I can see on there, can you see on there? 130, can you see that? Yeah, I think it might be backwards actually, but anyway, uh, shouldn't be backwards. I'm not sure why my camera's pointing backwards. Hmm, maybe it's just me. I don't know. It's a bit weird. Oh no, it's not. It's just my. <gasps> it's my little screen at the back, silly thing. Right. So, so the, yeah. So 130 millimeters. Now, if I use the edge here, go to the firewall, and then go to the edge of the back of the prop shaft, or I don't know what you call it. Let me know. That's. I go flat on that. They can actually go a bit back a bit. It's quite hard to Let's do that again. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. All I'm doing is I'm just bringing an edge here, putting it flat on there. I suppose I could tighten it. <laughs> and then going to the firewall and then going to the edge of here. And that needs to come forward a bit. Now you see how far forward it is on the prop stand? On the, on the engine mount, sorry, it's coming right to the edge here. When in the, uh, in the, uh, uh, in the, on the iPad, it's like, it's got it back there, which you would have thought it would be, but it's not. I mean, if he went back there, I mean, it's way, way too short, it's like 120 mil, and it probably wouldn't stick out of the, um, out of the cowling. Uh, I mean, where is my cowling? Here. So I've got the cowling here. Um, let's see where that pushes up to first, so I can see where that goes on. So that's going to push up to about there, isn't it? So yeah, okay. So if we go to there, um, it's going to be about there. And then let's just look where the engine pokes out. It is about right. Yeah, that, that is about right where the, where it should be, which is kind of crazy because surely it's kind of weak there 
yeah that is really something to think about um obviously because i haven't got into this because i've been waiting for parts and stuff and then got involved with other stuff that just that just says to me that's going to be weak now what i did do because i was looking at this and it didn't make sense what they said in the instructions it was basically totally different um in anticipation <laughs> that's a big word i did get another another uh, uh engine mount which is a bit different from this obviously uh but it's a lot stronger heavier maybe a little bit but if you're going to go to if we say to here uh, if i put that on there and it would be about there um according to well let's have a quick measure shall we let's have a quick measure so thumbs and fingers right so it's about there so we've got a big chunk of meat left on here which to me is going to be a lot safer than drilling into there i don't know i really don't know i mean that is right on the end it might be fine but you know you take off and the the engine it could crack it could crack here i i really don't know what to do um i'm gonna um and ah and i mean i can mess about and try and get this one on um this is a lot more st uh, sturdy i mean this is strength in the way this is the triangle on there that's giving it strength but because this is kind of, you know, kind of light, if I drill two holes in there, is, is it going to hold it? Because it's right at the end? You know, like you see in the picture on the iPad, you know, the engine mounts are right back here on the picture. So, are they putting the wrong engine mounts? I don't think so. I mean, because the other one didn't need to cut off, and this one has got the round edge, so... Fugal binders. And I'm not sure which way is up or down on this one. Uh, the strength would be if the engine was sitting on there. Because it's got that. Hmm. I'm not sure which way this goes around. It doesn't matter, I guess. Well, it does. I need to get the right. So it sits there, I guess, in there. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at this. You see, you, you think everything's going to be fine and dandy. We're going to put the plane together. We're going to put the engine together. And suddenly, pow, problems. But it's okay. I mean, if you, you know, you might have used this. Someone might have used this. I mean, there's not a lot. Uh, I suppose there is. Uh, not a Nexa. Not a Nexa Tiger Moss build. I don't know. They're, most of them are electric. I'll have to see if I can hunt down. Um and put this I, I i would feel safer with this it's give me an extra some extra millimeters or is it yeah it is because it's fatter there so it's giving me an extra quarter of an inch 10 mil something like that just a bit extra read all about it and the engine's going to be upside down it's always kind of weird as well why um you know why they put the engine upside down on here um uh, not the, the engine sorry like the, the way it's fitted because obviously it's relying on the bolts where if it was on top and it was made for it a bit better you you, you know the it's the, the weight is leaning on here rather than pulling so leaning on is always better than pulling believe it or not Okay, I'm going to have to go off camera and scratch my head some more and see, because I'm just a bit worried about it being right at that end. It's probably fine. I'm probably just worrying about nothing. But the last thing I want is the engine to fall off. <laughs> you know, great takeoff. Oh, where's the engine? Yeah. That would be messy, wouldn't it? That would be a dead plane. Hmm. So you go make a cup of tea. Let me have a little think. Alrighty. So I decided to put the red housing on the the black little housing, should I say, mo motor motor mounts? <laughs> motor mounts. These were just. I mean, if you if you'd have used these, it'd have been right at the edge. I mean, I don't think you can see it there, but it, I just wouldn't be happy with these. Um, whether it's because it's a bit, bit of a bigger engine, I don't know. 
I don't think so because it's kind of like the same sort of housing body really so up to you whether you want to chance it me no um, I put just two temporary screws at the back uh, just to get this uh, mounted now see if I can see this if I put that uh, if I put that there flat on the brass 130 so the 130 there you go that's what it says it should be uh, from the from the edge of this brass to the firewall and that's what it is um, I did screw uh, into here so if I turn around I left the exhaust on on purpose because I didn't want to get it in the way uh, let me just uh, let me just move you so you can see ba -ba -ba. extreme plus up there you go so as you can see I've only just put one screw in here now we don't put the screws in here obviously you've got the uh, blind nuts that go at the back here which are these babies if you can see those yep yeah, they fit at the back of the firewall um, and then we get our uh, allen bolts uh, allen, yeah, allen bolts which fit through there which are I think they're all the same um, no, I'm lying that they're a bit bigger. The ones that go into here are the 2.5 mil, and I think these are three mil um, Allen key bolts. And um, we've got some washers and everything else. Now it says on the back of these to put some silicon. Now I'm going to put some blue uh, Loctite. Uh, don't put red Loctite. You put red Loctite, you're going to have a nightmare just trying to get it out. Probably not too bad with a a bolt, but uh, uh, a blue Nylock would stop it from um, vibrating off. So let's just take this engine off and I can show you. So it's just basically measuring, make sure that the motor is level to both ends. It's got a, an offset anyway on the firewall, so we know that the engine is offset. Um I won't truly know until you fly her, but um <laughs> hopefully she'll be flyable and won't pull to the left or to the right or wherever. Uh yeah, so so there you go. Um, so uh, this is pretty easy to line up on this one actually because you've got the centre to the, to the little side hole there and then the centre to the side hole there as well if you can see that. Um, not very well unfortunately, sorry. But a lot more stronger, a lot more sturdier and I prefer this than, uh, than uh, than what was on there before. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this off because I've got the holes anyway. Um, I'm just going to mark these two holes um, and then we're going to put the uh, blind nuts at the back of the firewall which they dig as you tighten them. I'm going to get that shot. There you go. As you tighten them they grip themselves into the timber at the back and stops them from spinning. Get a good tighten. I will mark the two tops as at the moment we've only got two of the holes for the engine. I can just about see that. Uh, I'm going to put them back on, uh, measure out the other two holes, drill those. Um, but uh, before I do that, actually, something something I haven't done. Uh, let me just pull back out. Uh, the stand's fallen off the side here. That's why she's suddenly just gone back. I tell you what, I didn't do. I got a bit of the sniffles today. I do apologise. I tell you what, I didn't do. I didn't put the cowling on just to see if she fits. So let's, excuse me, extreme close-ups and all over the placeage. Uh, see so if we can zoom straight out. In fact, let's just move back a bit. There you go. I bet you it's the messiest you've seen, Mitz, haven't you? Normally people complain, oh, you're, you're, you're too tidy in there. <laughs> not today. Yeah, so I have got to put the uh, washer on, which is not a lot of room for the washer, to be honest. But I'll put one on there, nevertheless. And... Um, these are the uh, the smaller of the Allen bolts. You get a little pack, which got the bind nuts in the back, and um, the Allen bolts. So you can't mistake them. Let's just tighten this off because I, I haven't put the cowling on. And uh, that would be a good sign to see if we got the engine where it should be. Because for all I know, it's not. But the motor is 130 mil away, which it says it should be. The motor is on the offset, which it should be. Even though it doesn't say anything like that in the instructions, but that's okay. The instructions are but a guide. 
not the God's gospel truth. Right, can we see this? Yes, you can. Where's my cow? There it is. My Simon cow. <sighs> Let's have a look. Right, okay, so let's get that centre and let's have a look at that. Now that's pretty nice on the edge there. That's all the same and at the back, there you go, that is all the same and nice and level. And if we look at the front, it's lovely and level. She does a bit protrude a bit on there. Um, I don't know if you can see that very well, I do apologise. But then again, you don't want the prop too close, I guess. I don't know. I mean, maybe we can pull that forward a bit, but uh, I'm quite happy with that. You don't want, you know, I'm quite happy to have that protruding a bit. And then in the prop on there. Now, I haven't put the exhaust in. The reason I haven't put the exhaust in is because I'm trying to source a different type of exhaust. Uh, because of COVID and everything else, everyone doesn't seem to be around. Shutting down, they're slowly getting back to normal. God bless them, hope they're okay. Um, but yeah, so that'd be a different exhaust. But if not, I'll just have to cut a hole in here and have the exhaust as normal. So I'll tell you what, rather than uh, you sit me trying to drill holes and everything else and get the camera positions right, um, which I still haven't got my overhead camera correctly. Otherwise you could probably shoot, uh, see that. Um, but uh, I'm still, I'm not very well today. Come on, oh. No, I've had my, we have like a flu vaccination because I suffer with asthma. I have to have a flu vaccination, and it's basically, it gives you the flu. <laughs> it gives you, but only a mild dose, to, so your body can react with its antibodies and be prepared for the big one. So I've had that, you see, and uh, feeling a bit crappy today, but it's all good. It's all good. I want to get onto this, get this done, because I'm excited about it again. You know, the juices are flowing. Tiger moth, come on. So we've got lots of kit to put in it, and I'm very, very excited. So let's pause there, and I'm going to drill some holes and just put some bolts in, and then we'll come back. And uh, have a look to see what I've done. And back in the room. Okay, so I've done a bit of a boo-boo, as you do. Um, <laughs> I'll blame it on me feeling so crap. But anyway, what it is, I don't know if you can see that on there. I'll try, try and focus in. The centre line is about 1.5 millimetre off. I don't know how I missed it when I was screwing it in. But when you put the tags in, I don't know if you can see, if I see, if I turn it around, it's called the blind nuts, I think they're called, you can see them in there, yeah, you can just about see them in there, well they grip inside anyway, and really what I should have done is, 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 uh, touched it first, um, then just make sure that it was all square, like I did the sides, but I didn't, how much difference that's going to make in the air, I don't know, I really don't, I'm hoping that it's not, um, it's only 1.5 mil, um could always move the motor a bit but uh if you think it's going to make a big deal then let us know in the comments um another thing that i've done as well is that i went a bit arnold schwarzenegger tighten these up these are a uh five five mil is it 5.5 mil 5.5 mil nut uh the allen keys that i used for this was the three mil at the back and a 2.5 for this i think it was a 5.5 millimeter uh the spanner but i went a bit too much because if you can see this this block here if i get the old block this block is a lot thicker than the other one um am i out of focus probably <laughs> i feel out of focus um you can, as you can see it's a lot bigger so these don't protrude enough and i think when i was trying to tighten it i i threaded the the end um so i've got to get some new bolts uh, to, that will come out a bit higher. I'm also going to do the same as the back ones as well. They do protrude a little bit, but not a lot. I mean, you have you do go through a bit of about five mil, uh, which is oh, a couple of eights. Um, but I prefer it to protrude a bit more. And then I will put some uh, blue Loctite on there as well. Um, obviously, adding the more <laughs> washers is adding more weight to the front, but not that it's going to make much difference. But at the end of the day. The end of the day gets dark. No, but at the end of the day, <laughs> uh, it uh, it still fits. It's still there. I think it's. It looks. Oh no, that's just where I've gone back too far back. Yeah. So I push to the front there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's just. You, I think you just got to play about with it, but it's about there anyway on the edge there. So that still looks good to me. Um, as I say, whether it's going to make a difference. 
Yeah, uh, that 1.5 millimeter, I don't know. You'd be surprised, some things, sometimes they change. Uh, sometimes, oh God, in the wrong place. Yeah, I, think so. I should not have made a movie today. <laughs> I feel like crap. Um, yeah, it, it protrudes a little bit, but it's it's on. The engine is on and it's there. Um, I was hoping to do a bit more today and putting the pipes in and showing you the fuel tank that I got. The fuel tank is over here. Here, here, here. Now, where is the fuel tank? Here's the fuel tank. I think this is the one. Is this the one? Yes. It's the eight ounce fuel tank that's gonna go in this bad boy. There you go, and it's from Dubro, there you go. Uh, the other one, if you remember, when it when it was put in there, it didn't uh, it didn't fit. It was like bulbous. Let's get it round. Not a lot of room in this hanger, really not. Right, there you go. This one's gonna fit nice, nice and snug as a bug in a rug there. So we've got to do some pipe work and bits and pieces. Um, in the front of the tiger moth, if I zippy around here afterwards, <laughs> um, you got a lovely spot below here. I might drill some holes um, or even just use it here, but obviously um, the fuel intake's here anyway, so it's gonna. What's the best way of doing it? I mean, the best way is the closest possible. I don't think you can see can you see this side? I can't really turn this side. Sorry guys. There you go. There's the there's the intake here for the fuel. So maybe I should go straight there, but the fuel tank is not I suppose it is well, it's not when you think about it, the fuel tank. Kind of sits there. So you know you're gonna be there's gonna be a little loop into there anyway, so uh, as I say I you know um I was told that you know you should be fair enough straight with it, um, but that's not going to be, is it? So, but so I've gone by these lines, so you know that I think believe that's where it should be. I'm hoping that's where it should be. Um, I'll, I guess I'll find out. Um, I'll even find out the hard way. I'll find out the easy way. Who knows? But it's really, really hard because in the instructions there for the for the for glow engine, there's no real instructions like um, or a template. Where the uh, the electric mount is is there, it's ready to rock and roll. So yeah, not the most exciting movie for you guys and girls. I really apologise for that. Um, I was hoping to get more done today, but I feel like crap. But I thought I'd get something out. So you know, this is the motor mount and the mount we used. Well, there you go. Um, I wanted to do a bit more for this movie, um, but uh, as I say, I need to get some more longer bolts. I'm not happy with that, um, you know, that's too scary. I mean, yes, you can check them every flight, but no, no. I want uh, at least, uh, I don't know, five mil, two eighths, one eighth, whatever, it, uh, two eighths, I think, at least protruding out the nuts. Um, I will put some um, blue Loctite on there so it won't rattle loose. Same with inside, they're protruding about an eighth, which is a few mil. Um, I want it to protrude a bit more than that. Um, I need to sit down as well before we continue this. I mean, um, and just work out. I've got to do the pipe bending for this anyway. I was going to do a special one just how to bend some pipes because I've had a try of a few of them. <laughs> yeah, probably plenty of outtakes because uh, I did fail on a couple of them. But yeah, as I say, I've got my little pipe bending tool um, that uh, I've been playing about with and I got a bit masterful with that. So I'm quite happy with that. I know it's probably something silly, something simple, but to me it was a bit, well, here we go just getting the actual distances right and stuff like that so um, yeah but we're on Tiger Moth, Tiger Moth, Tiger Moth we're going to get this baby finished I was say I was hoping to get a bit more today but I do feel a bit under the weather um, um, yeah it's just what happens when you have a you have a flu jab to prevent you to have the flu but your body still thinks you've got the flu so you still feel crap anyway uh, whatever so um, I'm going to try and <coughs> do maybe a couple uh, rather than one uh, uh, every weekend or something, I don't know. Uh, but you know, as I say, I can only apologise that you know you've got to wait for the next movie. But they will be every week. The Tiger Moth is what I need to finish. Um, you know, maybe we'll do an unboxing in between. Maybe we'll do a, a midweek unboxing or something, just so we don't take away from the weekend for this Tiger Moth. Because, as I say, um, have a think about changing this, uh, changing your motor mount, uh, because the other one just it was too far near the end, and I could see it breaking. 
um, and it is thicker so it has to get thicker bolts so remember that if you do do that um, I'll get them ordered today uh, probably from uh, Amazon because they're the quickest and to be honest I hate standing in shops these days in the land of COVID because it's just horrible the shopping experience is just not there anymore and that's thus you hope that uh, you can order online and get it quite quickly unlike the MiG-29 but we won't go there will we? <laughs> I'll be a bitchy now because I feel crap so anyway, I hope you keep well and keep safe if you can keep flying. But uh, listen, thanks for popping by and I'll see you next week. If you haven't subscribed, please, please, please subscribe. It will help the channel no end. Uh, you know, we will improve. Um, I've got plans, uh, as I say, for next year to fly, 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 and also to expand the hangar. So we'll have a bit more space <laughs> when we're trying to film things. And there's plenty of building going on. So listen, thanks for popping by and we'll see you soon now. See you later now. Bye-bye.